Today I want to share with you guys how you can create a simple, fast, and smart website in under 10 minutes using Hoku's AI Website Builder. So this is for the girls that are looking toward building a website. You have an idea, you have some products that you want to get off before the holiday season approaches, but you're like, girl, I don't got enough time, nor do I have the money to invest, and I need something that's going to look professional so I can actually make a profit. So today I'm going to walk you guys through step-by-step -step how you can use Hoku's an AI Website Builder to pretty much do all the things for you. All you have to do is enter in a couple pieces of information and it's going to be done for you in a few minutes or less. So if you're ready for this, let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So first things first, you guys want to go to Hoku's.com. The link is going to be down below in my description box for you guys to utilize it. But once you get to the website, this is pretty much what it looks like. Hoku's is an AI website builder, which means you don't have to code, design, or pretty much lift a finger to get your website up and ready to go. So what I really love about Hoku's is the fact that it can create your business ready website within seconds. It's filled with AI generated content. It has captivating design elements and eye catching images. All you got to do is just answer eight questions and then yeah, your free website is pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to walk you guys through step by step. What you want to do is first you want to enter your email, then click get your AI website. Okay, so here's the screen that's going to open up once you've entered your email. They're going to ask you a couple of questions that all you have to do is just answer as honestly and truthfully as you can. So, what category best describes your website's purpose? Is it a store? Is it a service? Is it a portfolio? Or is it like a blog? And then it says that you can basically select the theme to find that matches your profession. So I know a lot of you guys on this channel are looking to create like cosmetic based businesses. So what we're going to do is say um, cosmetic business and see what comes up. Okay, so like here are the options that they can find based on what we have described to them. A beauty store, fragrance, bath and body products, makeup, beauty consultant, beauty salon, etc, etc. So cosmetic business pretty much falls under the bath and body product store. So let's click that. Then click continue. Next question is generating. So personalize your website by selecting the services you wish to offer. This can be modified later. Okay, so these are where you're going to actually modify your store to what you are wanting to do for your business. So let's say we want to have online shopping, delivery service, and skincare consultations. Okay, that's just an example. Hit continue. I really love Hoku's because it makes it simple to like take an idea that's up in your head and translate it into the physical. So now tell us what you want to do with your website. This will help us create the tools and pages that you need. You want to be able to sell products, obviously. If you want to have a blog, you can do that as well. If you are doing like consultations and things like that, you may have to do bookings. And if you want to get reviews and attract new customers, select those boxes. Hit continue and we're, we're pretty much almost done so far, you guys. Tell us where your business is physically based, like a store address, or the area and service such as region, city, or zip code. So here's where you'll enter your business information if you are selling at like a physical location. If not, go ahead and select online business only. All right, we're almost done. So what do you want your business to be called? Okay, I do have a video that shows you guys how you can generate names for your business. This video is going to be linked right here below. So I'm just going to get, you know, creative and do... Let's do nice skincare just to be simple. Okay, you're almost finished. On the left hand side, you can see the order of things that we are completing so far. We've did your business type, your services, your site features, your business location, and your business name. Next, select to highlight three unique aspects of your business. We will generate more customized content based on your selection. What we can do is select unique aspects of your business. So I like that they give you a lot of different customization options. So if you want to do loyalty programs, highly recommend. Affordable pricing, um, exceptional customer service. Let's uncheck the affordable price and let's do easy navigation and exceptional customer service. So they have more options. You can scroll down and look through all of these, but let's just go ahead and click continue for now. We picked loyalty programs, easy navigation, exceptional customer service. How would you like your website visitors to contact you? Do you want a contact us form? Would you like to do by email or by phone? I personally would recommend doing the contact form. All right, almost there. Let's see what Hoku's can come up with. All right, so once you have answered all the questions, Hoku's is gonna give you a bunch of different website templates that they have generated for you based off of what you have told them. So as you can see, we have this website here where you're seeing the template. You can place your logo up here. They got a sale banner and then there's other different information that goes below your header. Over here, there's more of like a graphical website design where you have different pictures in a gallery setup as well as some information about your website and then a shop now button at the top. 
And then over here, it's kind of like a combination of the two. You've got your big banner picture with the shop now button and learn more button, as well as other tabs in the navigation for you to click. So let's click the middle one, then hit continue. Hocus is going to work their magic. And now what you have to do is continue on to the design phase. So great. Now add your touch. I love this. It's so simple. Choose your color palette, but keep in mind there are more options in the editor. So don't make these your set color palettes, but they're giving you options to work with. So we're going to select this one right here. I feel like this is cute. And you can like scroll down in the preview and like see what your website will look like. You guys, this is actually really, really nice. Okay, this is our sample website. It's tailored to a beauty brand. We got your clients and their reviews down at the bottom and everywhere that you can find your website online. So once you select your colors, then go ahead and hit continue. Now you want to choose your font pairs. They have a several different options, but like I said, keep in mind that you can change these later. So we're just going to click one. Let's do this one. And as you can see in the preview, it changes it. You also have the option to keep selecting each font pair to like watch it be changed in real time, which I love that. Oh, actually, I think I like this one a little bit better. There's a cursive font as a header and then there's like a regular manuscript font. OK, so create my website. Let's see. They're launching the AI website builder. You guys, we clicked a couple of buttons and let's see what Hokus is able to come up with based on everything that we have given them. Congratulations in just five minutes, literally five minutes. I'm not exaggerating. We have just created our website. Now all you will need to do is tweak, plug in the information that fits your brand, and but your base of your website has been created for you in five minutes or less. Talk about efficiency, you guys. This is why I'm going to recommend Hoogle to y'all because I know there's a lot of people who want you want to sell your products, but you don't have the funds or the resources to go ahead and get your website created. Well, this one right here is going to do it for you. So. Here you can see all of the different options as far as editing goes. Go over onto the left hand side, there is a section button. You can click this button and you'll be able to select different widgets and different services that you want your website to have. You can add an about us page, subscribe forms, contact forms, a blog page, booking. If you have a team of people, if you're, you know, want your social media profiles to be highlighted, there are so many different options to create your store just exactly the way you want, okay? And another thing that I really love is the fact that if you have questions, you can definitely speak to someone, a real person who will help guide you through this process. So, And then underneath that, you'll click all pages, which will show you all the pages that you have to offer on your website. So far, we just have a home page, an about us page, which you can click on to, okay? And it takes you to your about us section. And then again, if you click all pages, you can go down, go to your testimonials, and you can actually put your client testimonials on your website. 10 out of 10 recommend doing that because the way that people want to shop is because they've seen other people's experience. A lot of the time we're looking on other people's reviews to know whether or not we want to support a brand or shop a certain product. So definitely use some reviews. But you can also add different pages if you wanted to. So if you just wanted to have like a gallery page where you have different pictures of your brand, you can do that by clicking choose a page type and going down to gallery. And then deciding which of the three templates that you like the most. We're just going to select this first one. And then there you go. That new page has been created. Now you have an entire gallery page where you can include descriptions of your products and showcase the beautiful products that you are selling on your website. And then if you go back to all pages, your gallery page is now at the bottom. You can click this settings button and you can go to add to the menu. That way it's actually displayed in the navigation bar. OK, so then you also have the option to drag and move any type of navigation that you want to. So you can arrange things in the order that fits you best. Now, since we're done adding our pages, let's go to our pop up section. We're going to add a new pop up. This is the first thing that you want to do when you get to your website so that as soon as someone clicks the link to your website, there's something that grabs their attention, promotes a sale, promotes a product, or just asks them to subscribe to the website. So let's click add a new pop-up. And like I just said, we're going to add a subscribe button to our homepage. Let's just do the first one to show you what that looks like. So now you will click the subscribe newsletter and we can actually edit it. Okay. You see what I mean? This is something that you absolutely need on your website, especially during holiday season, you guys. You want to be collecting as many emails at this time as you can. So what I love about Hoku's is the fact that you can change everything. If you wanted to change the color, you can click this little paint palette button and click the circle where the color is highlighted. And you can put any color that you want. We're just going to put white for now. 
You can change the variation. If you didn't like the way that this one looks, you can always select a new one and just click save changes. And another thing is that you can click a pop-up animation. So once your subscribe newsletter hops onto your website, you can choose the way that you want it to fade in. It can bounce in, it can zoom in. And I feel like that's really unique because a lot of websites, it just slides up, but you have the choice to make it look personal to you. So then you have the option to change all of this. We can say, you can change all of this. You can change the text. You can make it bold, you can italicize, you can underline, you can change the font size. You can also change the, what this button looks like. Like if you don't want it to say subscribe, if you want to say get discounts or something like that, you can do that. Once you are done designing, all you have to do is go ahead and hit that X, but your changes are automatically saved. So once you do something on Hoku's, your changes are saved for you so you don't lose your work, which I love. So now let's go down to our store. I'm going to say let's go with filters. It makes it easier on the customer. So let's click continue. All right, so let's go ahead and create our sample product because we want to see what this looks like in Hoku's, okay? So here you go. You will have your product picture on the right hand on the left hand side, and then on the right hand side, you can actually see a first person view of what your customer will be seeing once they click into the shop. So you can change the product name. Let's say this is a candy cane body butter. I really like this because it's, you can design as you go. You don't necessarily have to type things in and then you see the preview. What you are designing is what the website will be. So you can change the price. Let's say we're going to have it at $20. And then this is where you will type your description. Like I said, you guys, you can also use AI to help you type in your descriptions. I do have a video showing that, so I will link that down below as well. And then, like I said, you can also change the color of any and everything on your website. If you don't like the way something looks, just change it. Let's make the background of our button white and then change the font to pink. Let's change this to that same like pinkish color. Okay, and then I like that when you highlight it, you can see the different colors. So when it's not highlighted, there's a pink, there's a black border, but then when you highlight it or hover over it, it changes to pink. So here's what your products will look like. You obviously will upload your product photo on the left hand side so that way your, your customer is able to see what your product looks like. This is just an example so make sure you put your product photos. As many products as you have, you want to have multiple different photos of that product. Show it when it's open, show it when it's closed, show the top of it, show the bottom if you can. Show what it looks like applying the body butter to your skin, things like that. So here's where you will be adding all your products in. Um, let's go back to our store though. You can click my products and it will show you all the products that you have over here on the left hand side. What you want to do when you're designing your store is go ahead and make sure that you publish the product because so far they're not really listed on our store. So when you highlight this, it's going to publish it so that the product is live onto your website. Okay, so here's what your storefront will look like, you guys. I really love the way that Hoku's does this. It's very easy to do if you don't know how to design very well or coding is just not your thing. This makes it super simple to do. So over on the left hand side, you will see where you have different ways to filter your website. You can sort by price range. They can go through by collection or they can just go by what's the highest rating or the lowest rated product. And then you have a subscribe to newsletter. Everywhere on your website, you want your customers to be able to subscribe. So you can edit that here as well. Now let's click back to our store. Let's go, let's go and do our shopping cart design because you also have the flexibility to make sure that when your customer goes from on your website in the store, they can check out, but you want your shopping cart to look, you want it to look cute because this is the last thing they're going to see before they purchase their product. So here's what the shopping cart looks like so far. Mm, it's a little bit bland, so let's change the page background color to, let's do pink. Okay, now it's looking cute. Actually, that pink is a little bit too dark for me. Let's go ahead and make it like a really, really pale pink like that. Look at that, that's super cute. You can change the way that your buttons look that you have down here. I really like the organization of this because your customer will be able to see all the items in their shopping cart. Right on that page, they can add a coupon code. If you're doing like a holiday sale, they can enter their code right here. And then they see what their pricing is over down on the bottom right. And again, they will be able to calculate their shipping before they even go and check out. So no matter where you are in the world, they will know what their shipping is before they purchase. And then at the bottom, Here's where it gets interesting. You want to show customers new products that are often purchased together. You want customers to be to add more things to their cart before they actually check out. So here down at the bottom, your most top purchased together products will appear 
filling in this space. So if you have people buying the same body butter as that candy cane body butter, but they're also purchasing the body butter scrub and the body oil, Hoku's will make sure that you get to see that before they check out. And they may be more inclined to want to add those things to their cart as well, which we love that, okay? Higher order volume qualities, always. Now, let's get out of the storefront because one more thing I want to show you guys is how you can design a logo using Hoku's AI. So up here on the left-hand corner, you see it has that place that says logo. Let's go ahead and click that. If you don't have a logo created, don't worry, I got you covered. So let's do the same thing that we did with designing our website and let's generate a logo using this AI. So you're going to select your style. We got a bath and product store. Let's hit continue. Do you want it to be pastel? Do you like black and white, 3D, realistic, geometric, or abstract? Let's do pastel. Select and generate with AI. Once you select this button, they're going to do a couple things for you and generate a logo based on those options that we selected. So let's just see what we come up with. Okay, so here are the logo options that popped up for us, you guys. I see a couple different options. Let's select this one right here. They're, they're going to give you like a bath-based product because we are in the bath and body products business category. So let's click select. So here's an option if you already don't have a logo design. But if you do want to design a logo using other places like Canva, you can also do that. Just want to show you guys that Hoku's does have that feature for you. So the next thing I want to show you guys is how to actually upload your images. On the left-hand side, you're going to see an option that says upload. Here's where you can upload pictures that you have taken from your products like on your phone or if they're stored on your computer and you want to upload them. You're going to have an entire library full of all your photos. Once they're uploaded once, you don't have to upload them again. You can just select them from your library here. Okay, so let's go back to our home page. Well, I do want to show you guys that everything is easy to click. So once you click something, you can change it right there. This right here says the featured item, everyone's favorites. So you can click into here and you can change the photos if you want to by clicking that little image icon. You can upload different pictures that you have. Um, another thing that I like is that Hoku's gives you the free image option where you can get like copyright free images to use. So if you have a Bath and Body product store, they do have images that match that category. I'll show you in just one second. Okay, here are the options that they have for you to use. I highly recommend using these if you don't have your professional products already taken or you don't have the product photography up to the standard that you would like. I highly recommend using some of the free options that they do offer you. So this is pretty much it, you guys. All you have to do is click into anywhere on your website, select it, edit it, change the color, change the text, and your website is pretty much done. But before we get out of here, I do want to show you guys one more thing. Hoku's gives you the option to add your custom domain. Hoku's will generate a free domain for you, okay? But if you want to use a custom domain, click Use Custom Domain. And then you can connect your existing domain. So here's what you will do. They give you all the instructions on how to do that. If you need help with that, comment down below. I will help you guys. I, if you're especially using GoDaddy, it's really easy to connect to any website that you're using. But I wanted to show you guys that you can also purchase a domain if you wanted to. So if I wanted NySkincare.com, you press enter and then they will search for you and give you a price per year. You can buy it right through here. That is pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly a way that you can design and build and create your professional website using AI in a way that is easy and stress and hassle free because holiday season is right around the corner. I know you guys have been asking me to share different marketing strategies with you on how to promote your products during holiday season. I do have a webinar that I will be announcing very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. But up until then, Definitely check out Hoku's.com and utilize this free resource, you guys. It's 100% free and the work is done for you. So, if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because we're on our road to 100K. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much. Peace.